extra, extra Capricorn. This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. I am Michelle and welcome to Born Without Boundaries. Please click subscribe and ring that bell so that you know when I upload all the content that you love. I do a new Capricorn video every single week. So even though there's no dates on the bottom, the, the messages will come to you when they're supposed to. People People were ignoring the dates anyway. They don't care. That's good. They don't care, right? But I do do a new video every single week. So if you want it, right when I, like fresh off the press, ring that bell, subscribe to the channel, and you'll get notified as soon as they come out. Capricorn, thank you so much for your con continual support of the channel. There's always an extended reading. This is not a horoscope. It's an energy reading. So it's wherever Capricorn energy influences your natal chart or influences your life outside of you, you know, if you're dealing with a Capricorn. Um, so we'll read the energies and then I'll always do an extended reading, um, pulling out specifics and details with a full tarot card spread. Um, that's in the extended and of course it includes a more in-depth reading of your uh, romance predictions, which start with the romantic tarot. I'll attach that link above. All right, Capricorn, let's get into your reading. I've been uh, focusing and meditating on your energy. Anyway, let's get into it. Capricorn. Capricorn. What are the messages that need to come out for Capricorn? Capricorn. 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 Okay. It's all going to come out all at once. See what your crowning energy is, Capricorn. Picking up on anything like a channeled message either. Capricorn, what is their crowning energy? There you go. Kind of like snuck out. Hold on. Nope. You got a new beginning. Yeah. I know it doesn't maybe yeah, that may be a surprise too, but there's a new beginning in love. There's a new beginning. There's a new start. There's a fresh um, look at it. There's basically you, your star being able to shine, and this falling on the floor. Be at home. Something very, very close to home. But let's save this card for later. Let's look at the ones that actually flipped over. Trust in the magic and open to infinite possibilities. This is both Aquarian energy. I don't know if you're dealing with an air sign, but this is definitely, um, Saturn is in Aquarius. So the air energy, this energy of Aquarius, this energy of, of thinking outside of yourself is actually helping you a great deal to feel renewed, to feel refreshed. Um, a, a sense of uh, when you get lost or trapped inside of you, it almost starts to eat away because you're looking at, you're picking yourself apart, but in getting yourself outside of yourself and reconnecting, like getting back with your friends, starting to interact more. I know, I know we're in the midst of social distancing. I understand, but this is a sense of reaching out to people, seeing people, maybe even one at a time, um, talking to more people, even if it's from 12 feet distance, like screaming, like, you know, to having a conversation conversation across the park type of energy. This is a sense of really needing community, really needing friends, friends, friends. That's all I can think about is this energy of needing people around, needing energy around to help you outside of yourself because it's like, it's getting so heavy. It's getting so heavy in there. I can actually feel it about to implode. So there is a sense of, I need freshness. I need newness. I need something that is lighter and not so heavy. This is also the star card, right? You're shining. You're standing out. You're getting your wishes. You're getting your dreams what are your hopes and dreams based on now newness and freshness a new start something new coming into your life or or like energy being renewed energy being refreshed um something beginning again something starting over again let's get into that energy because that's really interesting be at home came out too this is some sort of change to your home life um because uh, a sense of 
the heart space, what you want, what you want for yourself, what you prioritize for yourself, Capricorn, what has become important to you. The dynamic suddenly changing to be something lighter, something uh, more having to do with your connection to other people and how they make you feel and less having to do with um, the actual structure of your house, the furniture in your house, how good things look, how much it's worth, the appraisals, the value, all of those things are starting to take a back seat to who fills the house who fills the home um, missing you know the ability to have a dinner party or feeling hearing laughter in your house or somebody coming into your home to change your life I don't know if you're um, moving in with somebody or somebody's moving in with you a sense of the home space becoming a more emotional um, having a more emotional value than than actual financial value it's really interesting energy. I'm going to put that right in the center of your, as your central energy, because this is Cancerian energy. It's like the opposite of what you are, of all the, how people view you, how people judge you, your success, your career in the world. This is more like, I just, I want to be loved. I want to be uh, cared for. I want, um, I, I want my, I want a home, not a house, that kind of energy. Um, sometimes life stings. <sighs> yes, uh, so we're caught up right now in sort of a web of craziness when it comes to illness and sickness. Um, this could be being ill, being sick, being scared, being bothered. Something has been pestering you. Something has been nagging you. Think of sometimes this card is Socrates gadfly that what has been na nagging you? What has been pestering you? What's been buzzing, 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 buzzing around you that has been... Um, frustrating you or causing you some just some sort of irritation or or even fear this this once again is the whole world this could be the world wide web this could be feeling trapped feeling caught up in the web um, or feeling like you're just done you're ready to track whatever it is finish whatever it is that has been getting you ready for this to be done 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 that's all i keep hearing is just let's end this now let's catch this bugger let's squash it <laughs> that's kind of what this is i know dude we're all feeling that way <laughs> just to let you know um attend to the small thing this is an infestation that has been growing something has been festering if you have been not feeling so good or you have been ha there's been tension growing with somebody that you care about and somebody that you love it's been festering for a long time and it's been building little by little where there is one mouse in the house, there is 400 in the walls of the house. So this is a sense of knowing that the structure of the house may be actually infested. There's something that has been, um, I don't know if it's mold, I don't know if it's mildew, I don't know if it's water damage, it could be an actual structure because we talk about the home here, but it could just be your life and your heart space and something that's been building up for quite some time and finally being able to effectively identify it because it's gotten so big, it has to be addressed now. Um, like I said, that could have something to do with health or with the health of your circumstance. Um, be at peace. So this is healing and cleansing. And um, I feel like it's finally coming out, finally being able to address or talk about what's been bothering you or somebody else's. Like you're able to finally like pacify or um, this, have a situation rectified. Um, this is Libra energy. So a balance um, a compromise, but it's less compromise and more an equilibrium being reached. And I think, I feel like this is more, you know, a, an internal journey for you, a sense of finding peace inside yourself by not pushing yourself, not needling yourself, not pressuring yourself with all the freaking details. Cause it's the details themselves that could be causing the infestation instead, allowing yourself to be lighter and more free and, and sort of like float above it instead of always have to be in the thick of it um make your dreams real this is more webs catching uh, uh, more web oh, almost feeling like you're trapped or you're being manipulated this is could also be mother energy um something uh, dna inheritance of of it being in your dna um a network a network that's sort of that those um, unseen or invisible ties that bind us to each other, a sense of fulfilling somebody else's dreams or wanting to add on to the tapestry of your family heritage, a sense of, of adding to what have you added being
being very, very industrious, being very hard at work, but also becoming something that you're not necessarily proud of in like the harder you worked, the less appealing you became. And, and it, it wasn't even just to others. It was to yourself. It's like, it's like, I don't want to be this thing that just is all arms and legs for work. You know, I want, I want to be something more than that. I don't want, I don't want to be something that's like, like looked at from afar and admired, but never actually like who wants you, you would admire a spider. You love like spider webs are beautiful, but who actually wants to touch a spider? It's like, I want to be palpable. I, I want to be invited in. I don't want to be like, I don't want people to scream in my presence. I want to be welcome. Um, let it shine. This is more scorpionic energy. I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio, um, but you're definitely like life is sting, 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 feeling the sting, feeling the pain, feeling the pangs of maybe something that's just uh, a, something that's been thrown way out of balance in your life, Capricorn. And now this is spotlight, putting the spotlight on it, being able to identify it, look at it, own it, accept it. This is that light in the dark and actually being able to transition and allow yourself to change. Um, scorpionic energy is that transcendent energy, that butterfly effect energy of allowing yourself to become something new. Because even though the caterpillar is industrious and gets things done, they don't have wings and they can't fly. This is, see, like using your voice. It's almost like the truth is coming out. That's what I want to say to you. The truth, the, the truth... It's, this is very scorpionic energy though um it, the truth is coming out it could be something being revealed like like a, a genetic testing being done or um find like finally being able to find what's been making you sick or what's been making you ill it's like now you can you can you'll put the the thing and I, I know this seems like i'm like i'm not trying to take this lightly but it's a good thing is what i'm saying it's like it, we found it you finally found it you can finally say it you can finally talk about it you can finally like let it all out and put a spotlight on it to show to sh to, to to show it to look at it um and this is this is a uh, aquarius energy as well it could be aquarius or scorpio depending um truth transcends illusion yeah something is coming out something is being addressed something has um once again like what you, it could be what you really want inside the truth of what who you really are what you really want what matters to you um really coming out to the surface if you were trying to hide it from somebody you can't hide it anymore um or if they were trying to hide it from you they can't hide it anymore this is definitely a discussion being had information coming out and that being i'm telling you right now because especially because of this crowning energy it is empowering information. It's information that you needed in order to um, make yourself happy, make your liberate yourself somehow, in some ways, Capricorn, it, uh, to liberate yourself. It's been really rough this energy that we're going through. I get it, but this is this is this is good news coming in the form of information that spot it could even spotlight a problem, but at least now, so you feel very empowered by being able to see and know where the problem, where the trouble is stemming from. Uh, yeah, this is you being able to avoid a disaster. This, this is moth to a flame, surrender now. This is you refusing to give in, refusing to surrender. I feel like this is something that you kept seeking. You, 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 you kept searching for. You refused to give up. It's like an answer that you refused to stop searching for. It's a goal that you refuse to stop pursuing. And because of your relentless pursuit of you, I'm not flying into the flames. I'm going to save us. I'm going to save myself. And you refuse to give up. And, and that's your grounding energy was that refusal to give up. And now it's your, it, what you were searching for, what you were looking for, what you were digging for. It's finally, it's finally there for you to touch and interact with. Um, here, Capricorn, we have magic works through you. Yeah, this is the energy of creation, soul creation, of divine, div like divine guidance. Div like, like, what are your dreams? What were your dreams? What have you always wanted? What have you always felt? I feel like you finally were able to let yourself reconnect to your true inner self, your soul voice. And in doing so, that was sort of helped you pinpoint exactly, uh, gave you inspiration to not give up or to get through a really difficult time. And it's almost like internally that magic was working on you, through you. It's like, it's like you are helping to, in some way, 
take time out, heal. This is Cancerian, okay. Mama bear energy, more mama bear, like mama, mother, grandmother. You're being protected. I feel like it's like, it's like almost like your DNA is helping to protect you. Does that make sense? It's like maybe finding out that you have this rare genetic disorder that actually helps and somehow in some weird way help to protect you. Or not to say that that's what's going on, but there's a sense of um, the, the, the defense actually being sewn into the real fabric of everything that you are. Um, and I think that that could just be your inability to give up, your inability to quit. But at the same time, it's like you're relinquishing that old target of making it material value and you're allowing it to be more emotional value, more, more like more like what makes you happy instead of what makes you rich and and like like finding finding that happiness and abundance in things outside of what your norm what normally made you feel secure you're you're just sort of returning back to I'm just going to I'm just going to take a lighter road here. I'm not going to I'm not going to fly and crash and burn and steer myself over a cliff. You could even be deciding to change your routines, change your diet, change your habits so that you enable yourself to like not Thelma and Louise yourself off the freaking cliff and instead see the danger ahead and avoid it. Let me flip the cards or uh, flip the camera around so you can see the cards. All right, Capricorn. So, um you know, <coughs> forgive me, I guess what I'm saying to you here is like you have found a great amount of strength as well as you've, you've found strength and a way through by allowing yourself to be vulnerable and more tender. It's almost like you were forced into the circumstance and that's true, right? Saturn has been forced into Aquarius. It can't, you know, it may go back to Capricorn for a second you know, up until July, but you know, it's, it's about to go into Aquarius. And then what the fuck happens, happens after Aquarius Pisces, you know, if you're not going back to the, that safe space where you can be completely self-involved and self-possessed, this is a sense of it getting more and more and more about others, about emotions, about connecting to other people. And that's influencing you Capricorn. And it's also, God bless you. It's liberating you. I want to head over and really dig deep into the energies that are going to come from this or underlying it. And I'll also do an extended a uh, romance reading as well. Capricorn, the link for the extended is below. I'll see you over there.